Ya te aduce Yeah I'll be, I'll be hella high yeah, and I be hella high. Yeah, yeah. I be going up and I ain't never coming down. No, no. And I be in the sky. Popping like the fourth of What's up, y'all? It's Legend Made, and we here with the OG. Oh, yeah. Bird. Yeah, you hear me? <coughs> and this is hella high. So, Bird, man. What you got going on, man? Tell everybody what you got coming out. Like, oh, you know? Man, we finna drop live from the trap, too. Mm-hmm. And uh, me and De Niro got the uh, Kings of the Hill project finna drop. So I'm just steady working. Finna drop a couple of visuals. Man, I've been seeing you dropping a lot of videos mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, yeah, I've been yeah. keeping. Yeah, I got a little plan. I'm trying to hit everybody's station. Everybody in Baton Rouge got a little channel popping. I'm trying to hit your shit. Yeah, that's what's up, man. But for my, you know, I, like I said, you are OG. But for everybody that like really don't know anything about you, you know, because there's a lot of people that really don't know, you know. Well, I'm from Easy Town, born and raised. You heard me, or shit. It's pretty much, you know, typical struggle, hustle. You know what I mean? Like that's how I know Didi from from Easy Town, cause my, my baby mama, her people from Easy Town. Yeah, Yolanda and them. Scrappy. Scrappy? I don't know. Oh, I'm right. Scrappy. Right next to the pup on Progress. I probably know if I seen it. <laughs> but yeah, man, so. Man, you an OG, dog. I know you've been smoking forever, like on some shit. Oh, yeah. Man, you done, you done been through it all. Like, you, you probably was around when it when that, first, that loud shit first really came around. Like, man, like, that's different, because you know. But when I first started smoking weed was right around in like 2006. So I wasn't, I didn't experience the shit that y'all, that I didn't have before that. Right, shit. right. I ain't gonna lie, like, you know, back in the day, bro, we only had Reggie, so all you wanted was the good one. Like, you know what I'm saying? My mama had asked me one time, she was like, how much a four finger lid cost? I said, what is that, bro? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? A full finger lid. I ain't never heard of that before. <coughs> so I don't know. It's like a whole bunch of, it's a whole different terminology. Yeah. Lingo. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, far as like the change, you know, you, it went from bud to weed, loud, no, endo, being loud. Mm -hmm. No, endo purple, then it's loud. Now everything, you know. I came around during in the purple era, like like when everybody was smoking purple. That's when I first when, when I first really started smoking. I had a lot of smoking fish. Probably ninety four. Ninety four. Man, look, in ninety four, I think I was in the fourth, the third grade. The second grade, somewhere around there. This is like 94. OG with it. 95, full blown, gone. It was over with every day. So, man, what you prefer um, blunts or papers? Papers. Papers all day, huh? Papers. But if I do smoke a cigar, cigar it gotta be a natural good. Mm hmm. No flavors. They official. Can't I, don't, handle it. I don't like no flavor shit neither. Like, I could smoke it backwards, but I gotta put a lot of weed in it. Like a lot of weed in it. I like the motherfucker so harsh. You know why? Because a lot of times when people gut them, they try to gut them like a regular cigar. Man, you gotta do so rinse much more to them. Yeah, you yeah, gotta rinse it all. That's, 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 <laughs> if you don't do all that shit, that bitch gonna be nasty. We pull it out, just slip them out, keep nah, it going. It's, it's over with then. I, I don't wanna smoke it if it's like that. But yeah, man, so. Like, <coughs> do we like um like in, is it incorporated in your music? Like, is it something that you talk about a lot? Like, I mean, I touch on it. You like to get high before you go and record and everything. Sometimes, sometimes, and sometimes it's like it, it to me. It makes me slur my words. Mm -hmm. What I about drinking syrup too? And I be having the night, you know. What about when you're writing? 
Now when I'm writing, I love it. Right. I put you I in gotta your have it. Yeah, like then you gotta have the right kind. Right. Some weed to fuck your mood up. You're right. It really will. You fuck your whole zone up. You, you know what I'm saying? That bitch paranoid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have that right, that right, that right badge. I know, and it's and it's hard being down here. You just gotta fuck with the with the person that you know. Right, right, right. Then <coughs> the way the way the market is now is 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 they more concerned about the price than the quality. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Like everybody ain't smoking good shit. No, they are not. And that's real shit. That's facts from OU Bird right there. Everybody not smoking good shit. They not. I don't give a fuck what you say it is and what the nickname. <laughs> that shit trash. <laughs> <coughs> the L Pack. That's what I call it. The L Pack? Yeah. Straight out. That's that stuff for when you get it and it look good and it smell good, but then when you go to break it down, like it just. Fall to pieces? You, you could tell there's no substance there. Stick it, and then you got the sticks. I mean, like you, yeah, stick them. You gotta, you gotta put buku of it to to get a gram, like it's them, them fat grams. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. the L pack. Then you got, you got so many different kinds. Yeah, till you might run into some shit and they say it's this, and it ain't. You right. Cause they don't know. The whoop the whoop. And the whoop the whoop ain't the whoop the whoop. Man, like you know you know what the difference between like the sativa and the indicas is and shit? Man, I, I don't know. Like when when you get high, you like to get a head high or you like to get that, that body high where you you like stuff. I like the head high better. Well you you probably like sativas then. Yeah, I don't really the, like the yeah. But when you slump like that, that's when you get your best thoughts now. That is you, true. You be, you know what I'm saying? You just be stuck. And that's real shit. Man. You really came up in like a whole different like gym, like era than me on some shit. Right. Like when you was younger, what kind of shit you was doing? Like I mean, up till like 13, you know, tip the shit, ride the bikes, and mm, you know, once, once I got to the age, so we're like, I understood what was going on, and I had to do something. So I started hustling, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really right. get into too much trouble. Cause I had older niggas around me that'll tell me like, man, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't hang with them, they too loud. They move bad and you know shit like that. So that's good shit. Everybody don't have that shit. Right, right. So that, with that being said, like you know, everybody don't have it. You know what I'm saying? That shit valuable right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially with the youngsters, because they don't a lot of them being misguided. You know what I mean? All right. That's a lot of them on hard drugs. You know what I'm saying? The whole like. Shit that they shouldn't have never even fucked with from John. Shit that's cool now wasn't cool then. Right. That's the number one change for sure. Like, the acceptance level is high. The rap, the streets, whatever, everything is. Man, just society. You you gotta accept any everything that they, they put in our face, they're trying to make you accept it. And they filter you so bad. They filter you so bad. You gotta be careful what you say. Right, you're gonna ridicule you, gonna <laughs> shut you down. I don't care your career. That's that's real talk. You really do. Like, in my opinion, it really ain't no such thing as a free speech no more. Cause you, cause if you let some of the stuff, let some of these like rules or people like have the position that they would have had back in the nineties or like the two thousands, man. A lot of rappers would have been locked up back then. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Like, back in the days, wasn't nobody really. Only two bad rappers I can remember was like Tupac and C Murder. <coughs> Always on the news and some shit went mm -hmm. on. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't none of that. Now you. It's it's cause they targeting rapper rappers. Rapper come out two, three months later, he ain't going to jail. They, they targeting rappers though. 
Facts. Right. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> but man, um, so with with all that being said, like you know, what you was doing when you was younger and everything, how you started hustling and everything, like when when you start when you felt like you needed to rap, like when when that became like like got incorporated to everything. Man, like I say, like two thousand. How old you was in 2000? Like 19, 18? 18, 19, all right. Yeah, something like that. Wrong of it now. I was 18. Used to be freestyling a lot. Started kid, we rapping to other people's song while they playing and shit like right. that. You know, and everybody used to be like, man, it was kind of nice. You know, my little freestyle was, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I, don't know what y'all, I ain't know how to write it though. See, I wish shit was more like that right now. Like, I feel like the reason why the rap game is so saturated is because everybody felt like they could do it. Like, everybody could go buy the equipment. And See, that's the, the whole, and that's the whole thing, the equipment. Like, I ain't know nobody had no studio when I was coming up. Man, to be honest with you, when, when I first started rapping, like, I started rapping in, like, 2006, 2007, I knew one studio to go to, and this he was charging so much, you only could get so much time, because he was like working with, he had did shit with Mr. Quinn and all kind of shit, so he was taxing, like, two hours probably was like $110 back then, and I was young, man, like, I couldn't Shoot really afford that shit like that back then, so. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, they got it good right now. You had to really want it back then. With the internet, with the YouTube, like the beats. The beats was the hardest thing to come by to me. Right. And you couldn't really, I ain't, you didn't you know had, it too many You had to know somebody. Right, you know what I mean? Like, you didn't know nobody making no beats. You know nobody with no studio. I ain't really so, start seeing the studio pop up to like right around 2005. Man, so how you started recording this shit then? Like, like, uh, my partner Chuck had a studio. I used to go by that shit. Right. I done rocked on. Maybe I had rapped on like two, three songs over there. And I, I they wasn't hitting no shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, I that was my first time really like trying to, you know, you got people do it like this. No, do it like this. All right. And now you energy all, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the song was is, really though. wasn't hitting no shit. So like, you know, I just really sat back and just paid attention, paid attention, but I started writing. I write. And would never even rap them. Just a write them, write them, write them, write them, write them, write them, write them. And then they, they, you was they working started, on your crap. They started the, the writing started getting better. Right. And then you know once the writing got better, then I was rapping them, and I still like, ah, huh, this don't sound like how I wrote it. You know what I mean? Like, damn man. I know exactly Go what you're talking about. Go from that part to man, now I gotta get my flow right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, from there, you know what I'm saying, man? Why you ain't putting nothing out? You know, and whoop the whoop, but then I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, let me shoot my shot. Put me something out. All right. Got a good response. And the next one on the way, you know what I'm saying? So, man, I know, I know you done fucked with a lot of, a lot of people who would be considered, like, BR legends out here on some shit. Yeah. I mean, I I just been wrong. All right. You know what I'm saying? Just being wrong, being paying attention. All right. And, 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 and to me, the number one game is survival. <coughs> Everybody got their own different survival tactics. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And once you, you know what I mean? You were on good people because Everybody who was doing shit in the street wasn't a good person. You know what I mean? Like that's real shit. 
Ain't no, you know that certain people don't, no don't look out for nobody, don't want help nobody, don't want nobody to, you know, get yeah, past get them or down. keep you in the blind, not give you the game. Like, you know, it was it was different thing, like. Man, I know exactly what you it, mean. It was like that secrets ran the game. That same kind of shit still go on though. Like that same kind of shit. It still be people doing trying to do that same shit. But like The shit people doing it with, nah, it was secrets. Like, cooking crap. That was the real recipe. Right. Like, everybody didn't know that. Then they start putting it in the song. Nah, you can't jack the country boy no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. He, done, he figured out how to do it. You gotta it figure out another way. You know what I mean? You gotta switch it up. You know what I mean? Like, I feel you. Well, man, being you been smoking for so long, I know you done smoked a whole lot of different strains on some shit. I I, I, I had my fun. <laughs> so, <coughs> man, what's your favorite strain? Like, give me like four of them. <coughs> like four of them. Cookies. <coughs> what kind? They got buku cookies. The Girl Scout cookies. Huh? Yeah, I just like to, I am this really this anything with cookie and I'm fucking with it. The OG. You know what I mean? Like, oh uh, man, it's just so much shit like it is. I can't have a favorite. That's like me saying my favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? Right, like right, right. But with like, lame, but you know like like what fathers of what I love to like, smoke, yeah. cookies. Cookies? Alright, It don't even matter. Any kind of cookies. Man, what, all right. Well, what all, how many types of cookies you done had though? Cause I done had the Girl Scouts. I done had blue cookies. I done had, damn, they had this other one. I can't remember the name of it, but that, it, it was some type of cookies too. I done had like three different kinds. I done had the little Biscoff, like the little Biscotti stuff, like all them different type of cookies too. Man, I, man, bro, look. Oh. What the name of that shit? I don't be remembering names a lot of times, man. I be too high. Man, what the fuck the name of this shit? Oh. Now the gelato forty one. Pressure. Right. Yeah. She pressure. Definitely. Oh. Definitely. That's facts. Man, it's just so many like. The lemon tree, fire, some of the sherbets, pink candy, some of that. <coughs> that shit, that was taste so good. Man, that nerd shit had taste good as a bitch. That shit had taste yeah, good. Yeah, now that's nasty. That's, 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 that's good. I'm saying, you know, yeah. yeah that shit had taste good as a bitch. Man, what the fuck? Different bubbles. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. It's, it's, it is a lot. It's a lot of different shit. It's a whole bunch of shit to like really. The moon rocks the shit. To me, my personal favorite, you know. But you can't just smoke that by itself. But you get the right ratio, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's over with. I, I ain't never got it right. Like, anytime I get to where like the moon rocks would be at, I, I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> Yeah, that moon rock brush with the pins. The pins are right. They got a lot of foo foo pins floating around too. That's the that's a Mario Kart. I ain't never heard of that one. That's the um the, the Skittles cake. I've been killing it, man. Like dog too. And I've been smoking the fuck out that shit. It's it's good though. It's like eighty to eighty five percent. Yeah, that's good then. That's good. Yeah, it's good if it, when you don't feel like rolling up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Early in the morning. Just hit it a couple yeah. times. Then wake up. Yeah, like I was saying, bro, I'm uh, trying to be hands-on as possible with the music. Right. Like I pay attention. 
I'm trying to soak up much as I can. You but know. you're supposed to pay attention, it's, a, especially when you find somebody that that make your music sound the way you want it to. Yeah, yeah. like that's that's the person that you're supposed to watch. But look, to to make you laugh, like the dude I, I was talking about in New Orleans, like his name D Falk. He he used to be with Big Boy and shit. I used to like the way he used to mix my music out there in New Orleans. This when I was staying in New Orleans. But he used to do the shit so motherfucking fast that you couldn't like see what he right, was right. doing on some shit. Him. Like that boy used to, and then a play it, and you'd be like, "Man, how the fuck he did all that shit that fast?" Yeah. He had a whole a whole different program that that was like especially made for, like that he made on some shit. Like it was some weird shit. Yeah, cause there's another thing. Like you get your good mixer, man. That's, that's valuable. Mm -hmm. Engineer, like a lot of people don't know, a lot of your favorite songs wouldn't be your favorite song without the engineer, you know? Doing the what he did. Or, or whatever. I already know. Vocal or uh, a fix he didn't put on it or a plug in. Like, See, from, from being around my engineer, like, I done seen. I done seen where he done took shit that sound horrible <coughs> and turned that shit into gold. I done heard a few myself. Of why, you know, like. I respect them. They need more credit than they get, though. Shit, shit. Because they don't shit, really, shit, like, shit. don't nobody ever really give the engineers or shit. any credit. Shit, shit. I, I, I see now firsthand. And, and you know, I appreciate all y'all. I can't, all y'all. You know, if you ever mix a master song for me, or yeah, I appreciate you. Real shit. Cause I know that shit, it could be tedious, especially if, if it like, if you didn't just do the whole verse, if you got buku different. You gotta, you gotta get with somebody who not just there for to get the money. That's true, that, that like your music too. Cause, you know, everybody not gonna take to your music. And when you get to an engineer or somebody who take to your music or producer or whatever, you gotta, you gotta acknowledge it, embrace it. You know yeah, what I mean? That's real shit. Cause everybody, eighty percent of the people out here just want your money. The other twenty percent, people that really love music, really in tune with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have somebody in tune with the music. I'm tell you, hey, that's not it. That don't sound good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Like, Cause you can't have no yes men around. Yeah, you. like you know what I mean? Cause then you'll be putting some stupid shit out. So shout out to the engineers, man. Right. Shout out, that's big facts. Real playmakers. Huh. Real shit. So man, Bird, I saw that fucking car you pulled up in out the. Oh yeah, man, me and my hey, boy, fat is... boy, we catching us a breeze, you know. Got the uh, got the keyboard on the back seat, you know. <laughs> yeah. Drop top, letting the clouds see us. Man, tell them what kind of car that was. Oh, I'm on, um, you know, 75 Delta 8A, drop top. Look like it was a, it was like a pistachio color, like. It's like an oh, olive green, like. Olive green? Yeah. Yeah. Paint above. Yeah. It was nice, y'all. Look like that boy was pulling up for a video or something. But, man. Well, Bert, it was it was good having you on the show today, man. Having the OG come through, you know, it was good chopping it up with you. Appreciate y'all, bro. You know, if y'all want to get a verse, hit me up on Instagram at o dot u dot bird. If you're trying to get a beat, hit my producer, up, Fat Boy on the track. Yeah. On Instagram and IFM. Bro, man, that t tell them where they got on like PP videos and stuff that too. All you do is uh, hit me up on YouTube. Oh, you bird, I'm popping up everywhere. I'm on a couple different pages, and I got my own page at uh, IFM EZT. Right. On YouTube, so hit me up. Well, Y'all heard it right here, man. Y'all go, go ahead and peep him out, man. He got some nice shit coming with him. You heard me coming with that heat. Yeah, really. OG in the building. Look, man. It's good having you on the show. Appreciate you for having me. Yeah, man. We signing out. Oh, wait, before we sign out. Shout out to the antidote. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to the antidote and shout out to Quality Sound Studios, man, for, for allowing us to um, shoot this bitch in this building.
Shout out to the Antidote and Quality Sound Studio for having us here tonight. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, man. But we signing out. Won't be the last time. Uh -huh.